Hold on a sec. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome along to the High Side Podcast. Glad to have you back here. Um, I've been away for a week, which is great because you can recharge the batteries a little bit. And you can welcome a new face, uh, not a new face, but uh, you know you can reshuffle the pack a little bit. But it's always good to work with these people here, and um, and everyone who works on the podcast is always great to welcome you here. Nee, it's great to have you here. And um, I was on the show yesterday at uh, my other employers, uh, Afro Sports, and you know your camera was up. I want to explain <laughs> to me why your 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 Skype call is like this. Why is it like this? I don't know. Probably the seat I was on, you know, went down. A bit, he was turning uh, a, a on bit forty. Yeah, Please, the seat was a bit forty. Please adjust it. No adjust problem. it. No right. No Good to have you here, uh, Ni. Nee. What's up? How's it going? Um, <coughs> did you have a PVC? Yeah, I have a PVC. Oh yeah, great, great. Um, shouts to everyone that has a PVC following us. Those who don't have a PVC that are following us, we love you, but not in the moment, uh, right? So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a PVC, please go and go and uh, register as an INEC ad hoc staff, um, so we can um, have as many hands on deck. Right? Mm. We need to do this thing for everybody. Any good to have you here? Yeah, um, fantastic. Great to welcome you back. Cause look, I see your watch. You, they change this watch every time. I saw nah. one yesterday. I saw one today again. What's happening? You know, so uh, my my in law, my my wife's eldest brother, got a gift and gave it to me, and I liked it. You know. It's quite heavy it's, to be it's, honest. It's, it's, it's blinking, oh. You know. think it's, it's mad? Quite heavy. It's, 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 put them no, no, like this for camera. Look, it, it, it came from Yankee. Ini, 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 ini. No, no, go work out for under bridge for night with this. I see you. You need to hide. You need to hide the watch. You need to hide that. You need to put that for inside your hand. I don't tell you. All that bitch, you're like, but I don't go work out. You know, you should just say, you know, you know, get on the game. I saw one bro. I thought I went native last week. One bro say, ah, this is your native make sense. You know, go show the you. You go back up naked. Ah, man. You know, you should just say, ah, wait, man. Nah. Come on. It's crazy. Um, luckily, Fry, good to have you back here. Welcome back uh, from yep, yep, yep. the movie set. How was that? Tell us about that. And um, <laughs> look, are you, are you allowed to disclose any parts of uh, the movie? Of course not. Are you allowed to tell about, uh, talk of, about the, of, the star of, actor? Of, of, uh, I mean that that is in that is in public space already. Yeah. Zena Balogun is a, is a leader, lead right. actor, mm. and is uh, what the hell are you talking about? Zena Balogun is married. That woman is married and please, has children. Please, please have some respect. Brilliant woman. Very She's um. Yeah, it's a, it's a psychological thriller. That's <laughs> that how they call it. So it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a movie to watch out for. Um, yeah, it's about an OAP, so I'm just basically repeating. Don't worry, let's not put you in trouble, right? Exactly, but it was, uh, I mean, it's a uh, it's not it's not a job that I enjoy like so much because it's, 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 it's intense. Right. So it's, it's not always good. Hearted, I can yeah. tell you that. <laughs> but it was good. Yeah. Really, really, really good. Really good. I was on a movie set as well um, two months ago, and um, interestingly, on a movie set with Frank Adogo, um, and uh, it's good to see a genius at work. You know, mm. it's uh, so I, sh- I shot I shot a sports scene where um, I'm an, I'm a I'm a guest on a, on a football show. Um, interestingly, Chisholm Bone is also on the show as well, on, on, the, on the set as well. Two, two masters at work. Um, Frank Adol is absolutely a genius in everything he does. You will be in awe of, of, the, of the, the gentleman, and um, I, I, I let him know that I'm a, I'm a big fan. The big fan, big, big fan, fan, right? Mm. Hopefully, we can bring him here sometime. Uh, we're trying to get him to come, but you know, as a busy man shooting, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Um, one of the staple. Shows of Nigerian, you know, families. Apart and from football, that's the one show I don't. Oh yeah, use. yeah. I don't yeah. use for anything. It's actually amazing. I, I watch it nowadays, and this is not this is not a paid anything. this is not a paid uh, paid promotion. Yeah. Uh, from the guys uh, who do it, but um, I watch the show, and I think this man was ahead of his time. The things he's mm. able to do off script <clears throat> when he's not asking the questions, which of course he has to read yeah. from. This thing, mm-hmm. It's incredible, and um, one of one of one of those things is how he. You see, befuddles him out. People, you know, you they call, they say, phone a friend, and then you call somebody, and then you you give the person a question, and the person answers and says, "How sure are you?" And this he says, sixty-five percent. How do you calculate that? Six Frank says, <laughs> "I will never understand. How do you get sixty-five percent?" Was he? There some people say he said he, he once had a show, and the guy said, "I'm not too sure, but." At least I'm seventy three percent sure. Where, how did you calculate? How did you have seventy three percent? Between when I call you, which calculator do you use? No man, Nigerians, Nigerians here. 
I think I think and I, I think if like say, like say this country good, eh? <laughs> we would literally be the home of comedy. Like, <laughs> no, actually, Nigerians just don't want to go anywhere. Like, yeah. believe exactly. me, no, if, like, if, exactly. if Niger- exactly. I mean, we're, we're, we're aspiring that Nigeria will be better, and we believe Nigeria will be better. Amen. But <laughs> if this country was at the level we want it to be, bro, I don't think any, any Nigerian would look forward to say, you know, I want to go on a I, vacation. I, I have a friend. Tell you what, I have a friend um, in LA, and um, one of the things she likes talking. One of the reasons she likes speaking to me is, you know. Um, I believe is <clears throat> the amount of Nigerian humor mm. that she would hear from me on the on the daily, right? Um, because it's never the same. Of course, you know you have Nigerian friends in your vicinity in LA and all that kind of stuff. But you know the original Nigerian humor is like, you can't is, get is, it. is, is cra- it's crazy. The originality. One of which is one of the things I find most funny is when you go to like a hotel or something like that, or you go to a um, yeah a hotel and. At the car park, they say cars are parked at owner's risk. <laughs> but I'll tell you I can't spend my money. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, know, you know, I've, I would never understand. Understand. You know, I've, I've always thought about that thing. I'm like, okay, wait. Wait, what, what do you want us to do? You created a car park <laughs> because you wanted some comfort for your customers. Uh, so, which, and this happens everywhere. The bank, bank, hotels, everywhere. They packed up. Wait, as I enter the bank, make I put the car for <laughs> You know, so we go, we go uh, December 20, 20, 2021, where we're in Rio together. And we, we, went, we went to buy, um, buy shaman soup, me, myself, you, and uh, your wife. And I just looked the fence where we parked that car. I said, Is it car parked at one of I said, Yeah, again. This, you know, this it's five star hotel. It's become a culture. So you see it everywhere. So it's, it's, it's almost like you don't think about it before they, before they do it. And no, they no, don't, no. obviously, you know, everybody does it because. What you're telling me, what I get is this place is not secure. Uh, mm-hmm. That's exactly so what you're telling that, me. Wait, wait, wait. So here's the thing, so why, right? Why did so you here's create the thing. a car park? No, 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 no. That's, you don't understand. If your car park is not secure, mm. why should I stay in your in hotel? Why would it, why would so it, if it? your car park can be, can be accessed by, you know, unwanted elements, uh. <laughs> what is stopping them from just opening the front door of the hotel? Is that unwanted element? No. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody can enter your if car park, can enter, I can carry my car, car and take it away. <laughs> you can enter the hotel, Why can't they just open the front door? Yeah, a whole car. A whole car. <laughs> they will enter your car and they will carry it away. I so mean, now, yeah, what? Convince me. <laughs> how, why I should <laughs> pay you and stay your room? I guess CCTV camera, we know they work. Oh, Nigeria. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I go to your bank, you say your car park is not safe. <laughs> why should I put money in your bank? So, the same car park that is not safe, I will come into your bank, I will draw money and come back to that same car park. <laughs> so <laughs> that <laughs> they will be waiting for me. <laughs> He say he's like, you know, you know. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of safety and security, someone said, say, so we all sleep with our windows open. Someone said, I used to, but uh, until I woke up close to to close the window at two a.m., I someone shook my hand. <laughs> Baba, don't worry yourself. May God don't let you see that guy. Shit. You will never recover from it. You will need two years of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> you need two you years of therapy. You will free if yeah. you don't faint from the kind of fear we're going to enter your mind. You know, the person will shake you. That's what I'm saying. You don't understand the trauma. Don't worry. If you don't faint, if you don't, see, if you don't just die from the heart attack, you need two years of therapy to get over that nonsense. Now I to collect downstairs house and my hand this. <laughs> Man, who is inside downstairs? <laughs> well, I hope you're not living downstairs. <laughs> I honestly think that upstairs rent should be higher than downstairs rent. <laughs> you know, it's not the same level of risk. You see this thing where you talk, eh? Maybe you remember that day 100 level for school. My hostel there, if you went to you like El Kanemi, El Kanemi was like a, 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 a number of bungalows you get. So inside the compound. So it was like, you know, there you block this block, that block, but all. You know, bungalows, something like that. So, the ro- the the windows, right? That every room has like one big window. So, if you make a mistake and you put your belongings anywhere close to the window, don't worry yourself. That was our one night we were sleeping. We knew this thing. You know, the table is always in the middle of the room. Mm. I don't know who sent one guy. He won't sweep the room. He sweep the room that day. 
He you carry the window, the table near window. He you don't carry the table come back. Ah. Bro, if you know the number of things we miss Daddy, boys they work out with blade. They just tear your window like this. Tear yeah, one line for one <laughs> When you wake up from your bunk, you look to your window, you see the net, they do like this. <laughs> <laughs> Something don't do you. You know, it is the same. Something don't do you. I hate, I hate to hey. recount, recount that joke, right? And not swim because swim if you tell you one joke 40 times. <laughs> 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 the moment I turned on that bus stop, I saw that my bag was open. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you don't say something don't do you. Say, ah, that, you don't that see moment. your net, they laugh. <laughs> they don't open. Ah, no, 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 no. Something has happened. Something has happened. Oh, so I was say to change to change to change brake pad five hundred dollars. <laughs> so, if you put it like don't 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 leave the road. <laughs> Stand there. Don't, don't look good before you cross. Stand there. He concern you. <laughs> If I if I raise you, don't leave your room. If I if I you know if I use the car raise you, you know always bust my head. Somebody here go the crossroad. He go do like this. You know if I break the wall, you break the wall. You enter my front door like this. So I'm not going to pull any hand. They go they look you. They go, they look you for eye. Better if he give you signals, eh? That's right, that's right. You know if my break, they walk. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, well, <laughs> man, we can go on and on and on. Uh, before, before that guy on YouTube complains, I say, is this a football podcast or not? <laughs> Let's start off. Um, thanks for everyone who's joined us. Um, thanks for spending your time with us. Uh, we appreciate it. And um, look, we're looking forward to this conversation because this is actually unscripted, right? Um, yeah. So, Champions League, uh, off the back of that, um, just to wrap up, I saw Shay, who is a uh, uh, noun in greener pastures, right? <laughs> Wally, please, don't cover my camera. Thank He's you very much. Him. Right? Mm, mm. Um, said, said, so, so this guy tweeted and said, cannot stress enough how economically catastrophic it is for Barca to go out of Champions League at the group phase. Yeah. Yeah. Sherry replied and said, <laughs> say, this is what we want, Phil. This is what we want, <laughs> you know? But um, Champions League, um, what's, what's happening there with Barca? I think that, for me, it was always clear that I don't think they'll qualify from the group. I always thought that the moment I saw Inter Milan, I saw Bayern Munich. Inter, and this is the thing about football fans, where football fans sort of underestimate um, the teams they don't watch. Mm. So I watched the game you know, yesterday and the 3-3. Honestly, I think Inter Milan, if they crash out, they deserve to crash out. But the quality of their their counter-attacking was incredible. Mm. Mm. You know, at some point I saw it, I was thinking, you know, I like where football is now. You know, people always, like, a lot of people that, if you started watching football, let's say, you know, from the year, let's say 2010 or something like that, which which is 12 years there about, you would imagine that this popular bandwagon of uh, you know, have to play out from the back and all that stuff is the only way football can be played. Mm. But more, more often than not now, and I love what Real Madrid are doing, redefining how people see the game. Inter Milan did a fantastic job counter-attacking yesterday. And I thought that, you know, Barca, how do you know that a team is going to play this way and you play into their hands? Every time I watch it back, every time they, they pass the, pass the ball, it was two Barcelona players on, at the back. I'm thinking, mm. and this is not, this is not your the Alba, this is Piqué. Mm. And Busquets at the back, like, what's happening there? It's, I mean, for, for, for Barcelona, um, I'm not making excuses for them, but I think that they've been very unfortunate. If you look at the centre-back pairing yesterday, Pique and um, Eric Garcia, those are the two guys who are the least favourite yeah. of all their defenders. Yeah. Because you've got Chris Jensen, you've got Ronald Araujo, who are both injured at the moment. And I don't think both of them start if those two guys are fit mm. to start with. So I just feel, because I've always liked Eric Garcia, but I don't think he's a defender. <laughs> very calm on the ball, he's very composed. He's going to the walk up. Very calm, very composed, but he's not a defender. The goal by Lautaro Martinez was absolutely was, disgraceful. Was, it, I'm like, <clears throat> it was, it was disgraceful <clears throat> because for 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 a defender who sees the ball over his head, mm -hmm. clearly you know what he's going to do. He mm -hmm. hasn't got a magnet in his body. Mm -hmm. He's going to chest the ball, so you've got to anticipate that once yeah. he chests the ball, the ball is going to go this way. 
or worst case scenario, he's going to try to head the ball. Mm. And he doesn't anticipate both of those situations. No, right? what's worse was that he was not looking at the ball. Yeah. He was looking at, at the he player. Was looking at the player. So it, it, it's, it's quite bad, bad defending because going forward, they, they look really scary. You know, Usman Dembele. And I don't know what Xavi is doing, but I think Busquets has seen better days. I've got to be no, honest. I, I think I think I've got to that that I agree with. Yeah. I think that I also I I, I I never thought I would be saying this, but I feel bad for Xavi in a way because when you are brought in to rebuild a team mm. from where they they were when you know he got in, you will need some things to go in your favor yeah. that are out of your control. True mm. things like the Champions League group that you get put in. Yeah, in the draw exactly. The moment you got into the into the into the group with Bayern and Inter Milan. All of a sudden, it has become more difficult than you would have anticipated. Mm -hmm. Because whether you like it or not, you bring in a lot of stars or you brought in a lot of stars, but you're still trying to find your ground, right? And when you now add the fact that, yeah, injuries, injuries. to favorite, you know, defenders and, and some of the defenders, Eric Garcia that played, wasn't, wasn't the best performance from him. And even, even though Inter Milan are not particularly in a very good place mm. now, but they are still a team that can, you know, dig deep and pull out a performance. Mm. And that's what they've done over two legs against Barcelona. Mm. Because Barcelona is still a team. And with the Busquets thing that you mentioned, for example, there was a clear difference when... when Frankie de Jong came Frankie on. Frankie de Jong came on. Yeah. And what, was, and, and, and what was even interesting was that Frankie de Jong naturally has the ability, because he comes very deep to pick up the ball, mm. also has the ability to drop very deep and be in defensive, in defensive positions yeah. sometimes. Mm. Busquets doesn't have that leg, those, you know, that kind of leg anymore, mm. right? And, and the way Frankie de Jong was traveling when he got on, it's, uh, it's not the same. So I'm, quite, I'm, I'm a bit surprised why Busquets is starting in a game where you ab absolutely need to win. Maybe he went for experience, but yeah. it turned out to be bad experience. I thought it was important to... <laughs> yeah. I thought, I, thought, I thought it was important to get, um, get um, the, the one um, worthy Champions League talking point out of the way, especially because it's from Spain and you know a lot of people say, oh, you guys don't talk about Spanish football enough. So um, we got that out of the way uh, just in time. But I see um, Arsenal fans... No, there's, I, the, there's the Champions League talking point. There's Mbappe too. Right, right, right. No, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk about Mbappe, right? Um, but I see... You know what? Let's talk about Mbappe, yeah. right? <laughs> Champions League talking here. That's right. right. That's right. right. Quickly, right. before right. you we go to. Let's talk about Mbappe. Um, and I don't think there's anything I've said about Mbappe. I'm going to say now that I haven't said before. Um, first of all, I think that PSG should have the chance to make a real statement here with with the player and you know make a statement as to how the rest of the footballing ecosystem sees them. <laughs> right, I think they hold all the cards here. Yeah, sure. Hold all the cards sure. here, um, and whether they, whether the stories are true or not, and the headline that I've seen all the time is Mbappe feels betrayed, right? And when a player says they feel he feels betrayed, um, I might I quickly check to see what has changed in the time where he signed the new deal and now, right? They have Lionel Messi, they have Neymar. When football players in the past, you know, when Rooney famously went to Ferguson and said, look, I want out, you know, it was off the fact that he felt the club weren't moving in the right direction as far as, you know, transfer dealings go and getting the right quality around him to obviously utilize his best years. <clears throat> and this is what I found with all the players who have said, oh, they don't feel like the club are moving in the right direction. So when Mbappe, for example, says he feels betrayed, it's clearly not a footballing reason because when they've got out and gotten the manager <clears throat> who's found a way for the first time since they had that incredible summer, to balance the team. I watch PSG mm -hmm. now and I think that mm -hmm. they're fairly balanced. The yeah. three at the back system almost <laughs> works for them. Um, Neymar is playing the best football in maybe in the last two years. True. Messi is, <coughs> is back to assisting and, and whatnot. Nowadays they say Messi is goal contribution. They don't talk about goals anymore. <laughs> so, and Mbappe is, you know, scored eight goals in the league. So when you say you feel betrayed, it clearly is something that is not football related. Mm. And... That's the biggest problem I have always had with PSG. They don't, they don't appear to me as a football club. They appear to me like an imposter, you know, using football as an entry into whatever it is. <clears throat> but you're not, a, you're not a, a reality show franchise. Mm. And to earn the respect of, in my opinion, if they need it, the footballing community, you know, pundits, media people, fans, they've got to put Mbappe in his place. Yeah. I think it's the right time to come out and say, <clears throat> look, you know, this player, 
is X doing X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and this is our stand on this, mm. like any football club would do. Mm. Mm. Because how for how long are you going to take, how, how long are you going to allow one player to continuously move the club in the direction he wants to move the club in? This has the potential to scuttle the entire season. Mm. And this now gives context to what we saw Neymar's interview uh, with uh, OJB couple of weeks ago. When I saw the interview with OJB and, you know, OJB asked him, you know, any thoughts on, on Mbappe? And Neymar just walked away. My first initial thoughts were, <clears throat> this could be anything. There's no context to it. He could be like, I'm off the back of the game. I don't want to speak to... I mean, why are you asking about Neymar when I've had a good performance? But this now gives context because all the fillers I'm getting, I'm seeing, you know, Jerome Laurent, ESPN said, you know, he was promised that Neymar was going to be off and everything like that. When players start exercising that kind of authority... Mm. With not just anybody. Neymar, Neymar. Is, is a war, is a superstar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I dare say Neymar is bigger than Bappi. Definitely. Yeah, of course, of definitely. Course. Brand definitely. wise, he is. Bra yeah. Definitely. And uh, t two years ago, at uh, former uh, French uh, uh, midfielder uh, Dugari, yeah, he, he, he said something. He said something about Kylian Mbappe when all this issue started, and he said if, if they don't check him, that this might grow into something that will probably be, be, be too big for Paris Saint Germain, and it, it's looking like it, it has grown bigger than that, and Probably that was why he decided to run down his contract, maybe to have a sort of leverage <coughs> over Paris and Germany. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave for free. So in order for him not to leave for free, uh, we're going to give you this, we're going to give you this. You know, it, they said it's all rumor. But then again, before an information can come out at this age, there's an element of truth in, yeah. what, in, what, in what they said about it. So I think he has grown in a way that he feels he can control everyone. And I, I, I don't know, I told someone that He's not the biggest football player that I've seen. I'm not the biggest football player that I've seen. They've not even had, they, they didn't have this sort of control on a football club. I think and I, I, it's the, looking like the sad part for me, right, is that he's controlling them. The sad part for me is that if he continues this way, it, nothing is going to happen. The only person that's going to be destroyed is Kylian Mbappe. Yeah. yeah. If you if he continues yeah. this way, because football clubs will remain, players will come and go, of mm -hmm. course. and what's going to happen is, <clears throat> you know, I, I think. Thierry Henry makes a good point, you know. When if you hear someone like Henry say the things that he said about this Mbappe situation, you have to really sit down if you are a killer in Mbappe because there's nothing you have done and there's no level you have attained. Yeah, you won the World Cup at so so age, da, 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 da. but you are you won't come anywhere close to Thierry at least for now. And this guy is telling you when I went to Barcelona, I didn't like where I was playing, you know, but that was what it was. He needed to do it for the club. Mm. And he said so I played for the <laughs> national team, yeah, scored more goals than players, yeah, had more caps than players. And the manager tells me, go to the left. Yeah. You know, so he said I hated it so much, but I know one golden rule in football. You play where the manager where wants the manager to wants play. you to play. No, and there's no iron no team. And and the you other can. golden rule in football is this it doesn't matter your ability or what you think your ability is. Nothing speaks for you more than what you do on the field. Yeah. Nothing. Exactly. So it doesn't matter where they want you to play. If you want to make a point that you don't like there, or you want to make a point of saying this is not where I want to play, you have to perform first. Mbappe has That's the more, only way you speak. Mbappe has scored more goals this season at this stage of the season than he yeah, scored yeah. last season. Yeah. And what that tells me is that the other people around him are <laughs> pulling their weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if as a striker, as a focal point in a team, I'm scoring all the goals. Haaland hasn't been City's best player this season. De Bruyne has been. Yeah. Well, Haaland is scoring the goals. So he's getting all the headlines. <clears throat> so I'm wondering, will De Bruyne just wake up and say, uh, or maybe Haaland wake up and say, uh -uh, I think De Bruyne is playing better than me. Yeah. You it see, just sounds, you see, it doesn't you see, just sound like that. I think right. he wants to, the guy, the guy wants to eat his cake and have it. Yeah. So I'm at PSG, there's a lot of money involved. Whether we like it or not, that plays a role. But I also want to be able to dictate, you know, the footballing, Project. Project and what I want, you know, on the field. Because mm -hmm. like Yubi said, you know, he's feeling betrayed in the sense that, you know, they told him there was not going to be Neymar. They told him they were going to sign a striker. He's going to play off the striker alongside Messi. And they told him they were going to sign a centre-back. So now all that hasn't happened and he's feeling like... So, so he wants to have a control of all these things. And one thing is clear. If you leave PSG, I mean, as like we all know, where he wants to go is, is, is Real Madrid. Mm. You're not going to go to Real Madrid and control anybody. Definitely. So, except if Florentino Perez is no longer the president. If Perez is, the, you are not going to control anybody. Even without Florentino matter. Perez as the president, you can't go no. to Real Madrid and do you, do you, do you, do you, control do you, them. Do you think that if Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, you have more powers than someone like 
Danny Cabal. No chance. That, that guy is Spanish. No chance. Yeah. That guy has been no at that chance. club. No chance. That guy has been at <laughs> that club. No need to talk too much. That guy has been at that club for many years. <laughs> no need to talk too much. You can never that, do. That's I, not no, apart from apart from Real Fiorentino Perez, who is extremely very powerful at the club. The Spanish players in the team, someone like Nacho, who doesn't play regularly, you will not will look you eyeball to eyeball and say, "Stop that BS." Because first of all, why? Because this is my country. Because first of all, this is my club. So you can't even have because, powers there. So, because no, Ronaldo was bigger than you. Yeah, he couldn't have powers at that club. No chance. No, no. Yeah, he I'm couldn't not. have powers at that club. You I, know I, the I, club almost swallowed David Beckham. Come on, you can't. <laughs> so if you are looking for Ronaldo powers, Ronaldo have just one poor game in like five, six games. The fans will boo you. I mean, who are you? I mean, I mean we I'm are paying you I'm to play for inside us. the club. <laughs> People like Sergio Ramos were more powerful. And even when Sergio Ramos got to a point where he felt they I'm too they said, no, powerful no, 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 at this club, you are I gone. get what I want. You are they gone. They a taxi for him. You know, you are so gone. If you, I mean, you are not at the level I'm... of these players. <laughs> you are not at the level of these players, mm -hmm. and you think that you can go to Real Madrid. So I don't think that is even an option. Yeah. I think Mbappe is just self-serving. We've got to be honest. Because at this point, I think he's playing well. He's scoring goals. He's enjoying his football. That idea of I want to, I want to play on the left hand side. Is it that the stats are telling him that he's not having too many touches on the ball? No, it's, no, a, it's, a, it's about it's about game involvement. But that's not even my, my no, business. No, my, my I think you know for players like that, obviously when you're playing with, and this is this is general football principle. When you're playing with your back to goal most times, or you have to be the one to you have to because when you play centre forward, what it essentially means is that. You have to, you have to make some runs that would not be found. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. You'd have to most times be finishing off moves. Yeah. So you, might you not don't necessarily feel like you are feet. involved well, in the game as much. And he wants to be involved. And um. Okay. You know, many times you're a football player with a lot of talent, and like we saw with Rooney at the time. You know, I, I probably I probably remember Ferguson, quote and unquote, you know, asking him to remain a centre forward. You know, because in the end he was getting too much involved in the game. Yeah. In areas which he didn't have to. And Mr. Man, we didn't sign you for that. <laughs> we signed you to finish off moves. Mm. And we know you have a fantastic football brain, but please stay where you're supposed to stay in. But ultimately, what I even wanted to say is um, that it could be a master stroke what PSG have done. Is there any chance that PSG in the summer said, you know what? We're going we're gonna to trick this guy here. Right? We're going to trick this guy here. And <laughs> this nonsense you know, will play out in our favor. Because we have promised you everything. Which, in actuality, if Mbappe thinks about it, right, and his team thinks about it again, it is not possible that you call the shots at that level. You're mm. clearly out of your depth if you think the club will consult you mm. on letting a player like Neymar go. No, I, th no, I think the <laughs> club gave him the leverage. No, no, they, I, th they I, think, I think it was dangled in front of him as a ruse. Yeah, okay. No, they gave right. because, because maybe. if you remember, they obviously, if you remember, they, 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 they obviously did, because they, the, the propositions they were pushing at the time was reportedly they reportedly that they wanted Skamaka. They wanted Lewandowski. So obviously they wanted to get a center forward in. And I know that they were flirting with Milan Skriniar a lot. Mm. You know, they couldn't just get an agreement. I think in time we were looking for a lot of money and I think Skriniar was looking for a lot of money as well. And that didn't happen. I don't know what happened with Skamaka. Lewandowski wanted to go to Spain. He didn't want to go to Paris Saint-Germain. So I don't know what happened with Skamaka. Obviously if they had gotten Skamaka and it would be the center forward. Maybe, maybe Neymar goes. But Neymar's had a brilliant season so far. And like you said at, at your intro, I've not seen Neymar play this good for a very long time. Yeah. Obviously, and, enjoy and, himself. And, and which was also what, what I wanted to say. You remember when this Mbappe thing happened? It was reported that the president called him, da, 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 da. Yeah. and I think Mbappe even said something about, yeah, the president, External or forces. The, something like that. So I think this is just a case of a, a child throwing, you know, Tantrums can accept the fact that things don't always have to go your way, mm. right? Because Henri said he's never been told no. No, because <laughs> if, 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 may, maybe, maybe, maybe he's maybe, thinking he's never been you told know, no. <laughs> because if you look at the situation, okay, we're talking about Neymar. We haven't seen Neymar play this good in a long time. I think the motivation has been this Mbappe thing. True. If you take Mbappe out of the Mbappe out of the picture, Neymar goes back, might go back to the Neymar that we used to know. <laughs> like go back to you know, his his, his, his factory setting. <laughs> but Mbappe is doing whatever he's doing because he wants Neymar out of the picture because maybe Neymar takes up star power da, 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 and all that. But I think at the end of the day, right, as a football player, your most concern is about your performance on the pitch, on the pitch. and the performance of the, of the team. team. You're already Kylian Mbappe. What you do on the pitch would never be downplayed. How you, the, 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 the performance or the, your contribution to the team 
will never be downplayed. So we are existing, and like you said, you've scored eight goals in the season. The performance is good. The team is doing better. Everything is going well. So it seems to me that the only issue is there are these little things that have not gone my way, and everything has to has go to my go way. My so way. basically, it's just a child. That's, yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and that was what happened against Montpellier, where, where Vitinha decided not to. It probably didn't spot the run of uh, Mbappe, and he gave the ball to Lionel Messi instead. Mbappe just stopped running. And the coach came out of the game and said he was probably was tired. That's why he stopped running. I'm like, I don't even. I, 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 so, I, I, so, I, I, I think so it's this, like they're this, indulging him. I, no. I think this goes back to what you said at, at the start of this conversation. PSG have got a fabulous opportunity because everyone perceives PSG as as that small team who have got a lot of money to throw about. And this is where Salek said in his book that if the boss at the club is not the manager, then there's an, a, a potential for a free fall. Yeah. Hmm. So this is an opportunity for PSG because there are players who are coming. There are Mbappe, there are, there are Erling Haaland, there are young players coming that someday in their heads they want to earn that PSG money. You cannot set a precedent where players now think, ah, if I go to that club, I can dominate everybody. I yeah. can do anything. I can do anything I want. Hmm. Because you won't do that at Chelsea. No. You won't do that at Liverpool. You just walk no into chance. a club and say, this is what I want. Just that, that okay. guy has to go. That guy has to There's go. There's a reason they have a sporting director <laughs> and head of recruitment so and head so of PSG projects. So have got a big opportunity to say, we will stand our ground and let hell let yeah, loose. No, no, yeah. No, it's not. It's not. It's, 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 it's <laughs> no, it's an opportunity. No, yeah, because it is. Because if you miss it, if you miss it and say, you you go into a beggarly way and say, oh, to let, let's see if we can pacify him. What you're doing is you know, indulge. You know, you in know, I, like, I, like what, I like what Barcelona did. Um, mm. Sorry, to cut you in, Ine. I like what Barcelona did with Neymar at the time. And, you know, he said, you know what? Oh, you know, one of the focal points, XYZ, XYZ. You know what? Go and bring 200 million pounds, whoever has the money to pay. Go and bring it. And we'll let you, you know, go. there has to be a time. People say, uh, you know, the, the biggest investment, people, uh, the, big, the richest men know, you know, they invest, you know, they know it. But they also know when. To identify is a bad investment. Yeah, let me just, <laughs> exactly. you know, let me just stop. No, no, that's, exactly. that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. You know, you make a statement two ways. You know, PSG yeah. are kind of club that have the money to say we're going to put you on the bench and we don't care what's going to happen. That's the end of right? it. Definitely. Two is they can say, you know what, we're putting a 300 million price tag on you for all the trouble you put us through. Yeah. Go and bring it and we let you yeah, go. Before you Simple. bring it, you'll be on the bench. Yeah, before you bring, bring it, while you bring it, you stay on the bench. <laughs> while you bring you can go. Yeah, you have a lot of money. Let yeah, your team yeah, come it. up with the money and buy yourself out. Then yeah. you can go and sign. Because I don't think anybody will come and pay 300 million for you. Yeah, and it. the way Mbappe is even going now, Madrid have said they wanted him. But Madrid have gone on and win multiple Champions League titles without him. Yeah. So now he's not... I, I don't even think he's a, he's a priority. I think yeah. someone like Haaland would be a, mo a bigger priority for them in my yeah, opinion. Because you bring him in, who is he going to bench? No, Vinicius cannot leave that team. Do you understand? And I don't see any other person around. Bayern Munich are not going to pay 200, 300 million no, for you. Course. Liverpool just maybe City can do it. Right, right, right. Maybe right, Todd Bowley. Right. Let's 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 pick up, let's pick up the pace uh, from Kylian Mbappe. That, because that man the man. <laughs> um, so Arsenal, I, I thought about it and I was thinking Arsenal fans. I expected them to be a bit more, you know, vocal about, you know, this run and, and what's happening there. And um, I told Wally that uh, Liverpool didn't have an injury problem. They had a clear mental block. And, um, no, they, they had an injury problem, but it wasn't the no, reason. I, no, the thing is, I could, I fast-forwarded the injury problem. I, I, could, I could tell that it was not an injury problem <laughs> from, from day one, right? Don't you think fast-forward <laughs> You get why they watch the game. You know, you get why they watch the game before the game starts. We could use that remote for anything. We don't. They do this and that. We could just pass forward. For me, it was for me it was it was clear to see that um, that you know, don't put yourself in a shoe. When you 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 get close to the mountain, get top top of the mountain, very very close, many times, and you don't make it there. The job of climbing from from the foot of the mountain. Hmm. To the top is one that takes like it's starting again all over. When you do it the first time, mm. you're enthusiastic, yeah. right? We can do it. You do it the second time, you do it the third time. At some point, you're thinking, this is not worth it, actually. Right? And in my opinion, the guy who saw it first, you know, maybe forcefully, however, was money. You know, I thought about it and said, look, this thing is not it's not worth it. I don't think we're I don't think we're ever gonna hit the levels we hit because we all know how we played. <laughs> <I don't> right. <laughs> 
I don't think. I don't know why. We... <laughs> I don't think we're going to we're going to be, reach those levels again. So he left the club, right? And sometimes the things that are so simple are there in plain sight. And you can't uh, see uh, uh, man, they know they drink. If not, if yeah. you go just the whole in beer for Germany now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did I this know. one. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I see I'm well. Okay. I did this one. And uh, another person I think that saw is said, look, you know, Mosala just said, you know what? I'm leaving, but if you guys give me this amount of arm rubber money, I can, <laughs> I can, I can, I can stay. I can stay and start part. Did you, see, did you see that video on Twitter where they had that Arabian guy? Yeah, that that guy. Dancing. Is is it, it, this is Mosala since Mandy left. Yes, <laughs> you know, but but Arsenal are actually uh, the, the team I want to speak about. I don't see their fans going on about you know we're going to win the title. No way. And, but and, I have, and, and, and that worries me because I think that they've been too traumatized <laughs> in the past. You know, sometimes you're too afraid to say, "Oh, well, I am that guy." Right, right, no, but, I, but I've been. But so I, 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 not, I, I think that's. I have to say, I have to, I have to say that that's Arsenal are that guy. No, you know? no, no, no. That, but I, 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 but I've, I'm actually the saying Gunners that, but, are that guy. No, but the, the other show that I was uh, I was already you know as well as they are going to win. I was what I was saying. Look, you guys have to calm down. It's nine no, games, of course. Of and course. the reason, look, bro. Granted, after the Liverpool game, there were some tweets I put out. I was like, first of all, this is a huge win and a huge validation for Arsenal and Ateta because this is Liverpool. And if that game had gone on for another hour, Arsenal were ready to, to keep going pound for pound with yeah. Liverpool. Mm. If you score, we go score. As a matter of fact, it was Liverpool that was chasing the, the, the energy that Arsenal were ready to leave on the field. And we haven't seen Arsenal like that in a very long time. And I won't blame anyone to say that comes in and says, we're well, title challengers. That's fine. The only reason I'm, I'm saying calm down mm. is... The team still looks like they're one or two injury away from crisis. Fact. And that's why I would say Fact. they're a very good team up until now. Don't mm. get me wrong. A fantastic team. Because that's Liverpool. You know what I, what, what I think about? I, I think it's, 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 it's brilliant analysis. Um, and I expect it from someone at your level. But what I also have to say is that when you build a winning culture, and I don't think you have a winning culture yet. I think exactly. that building a winning culture they are but exactly outside the winning culture when you build a system that people are now in 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 muscle memory people are now playing off reflex people are now playing off telepathy right understanding how this is this is how we play this is the way of the past we make all the time over time you can afford to change players without Affecting the entire rhythm of the team. I, I, I agree. Right? I agree with you. Which is what? Hold on a sec. Right. One by one. It took a while before. It took a while today. <laughs> right. Well, well, at least thirty minutes in. <laughs> right. But for me, you can afford to start you could lose one player and still retain some form of 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 momentum. Mm. I think the most important player in Arsenal's team at the moment is Jesus. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I see Jesus play now and I think that this guy is Suarez all over again. Just without the amount of goals that Suarez scored. And I tell you why I think it's Suarez. In tight spaces, I don't know any football yeah. player, striker, that was right more now. lethal than Suarez at the time. Suarez will be looking at him, he's falling. And <laughs> he's going to <laughs> eliminate and he he's going to, to eliminate somebody. He wants to <laughs> you know? And that's what I see with Jesus now. Jesus. I think that I think that he's doing a bit too much. But I see him in some places I'm thinking Surely you can't be that stupid. And you see him doing something, and he's trying to wiggle out. So, you see, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. And it's, it's also, what you said also points to why I, I'm saying, calm down yeah. from saying you're tied to challengers, just say, because they are built, they're not there yet. When they get to a point where they take out a player, it doesn't really affect the rhythm of the team. We're going to know when they get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. And even sure. earlier on in the season, I said, the, the driver of this team is a Zeus. Because, Shame on, right now, shame on, on, on our producer Wale and Team Victory. <laughs> <laughs> because right now, there's a system, but I don't particularly think the reason Arsenal are doing this well is because of the system. I think right now it is because of the personnel. Because I think right now, if you take out Jesus, you take out Saliba, you take out Thomas Party. Uh, hey, take out no, take out the whole team now. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Understand something. Understand something. Listen, remove it. Remove you. Remove me. Listen, take a sound from me. Remove one. Let me go. No, no, no. 
Listen, there was a time. There was a time. There was a time. There was a time. Listen, there was a time. 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 Or listen, Chelsea's listen, way listen. to go and win this the Champions League. You, mad. <laughs> you included. Can't, can't be me. On Chelsea's route to winning the Champions League, there was a time that, and I'm talking this last one that they won. Mm. There was a time, I it mean, doesn't matter. Is there this last one? Won, like, no, now, so, this one is simple. So that you don't go and think I'm talking about it. This <laughs> last two, one. Two, two, two. Two. This last one they won is what I'm talking about. <laughs> can you, can you start quiet? quiet? That's that funny. I you said this last one like won. They won. There was a time that it, don't, it didn't matter who was the striker. Mm. It didn't matter who, because there was a three at the back. There was a, That's what I'm speaking to. Right now, I think that Arsenal, it's about the personnel. More important. There's a system, but I think it's about the personnel. If it, the way Jesus plays now, if you if you remove Jesus from that Arsenal style lineup, you can easily bully them. With Jesus now, you can't. Um, could I agree with you? I actually do. I think Arsenal had an injury two or three away from. Yeah, but there was a time Liverpool, Liverpool's club Liverpool mm. played for three years and did not have an injury. That can also happen. No, no, no. No, I just said that. 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 I I said it. Is it Thomas Tuchel? I said it to Empress, <laughs> right? I said it to Empress and 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 Stan. I said this title challenger, title challenger that everybody could say mm. for Arsenal to actually win the title. I think for them to have any chance at it, mm. Jesus will have to play every single game. Of yes, game. I, 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 so I have one question, right? How many games before you take them seriously? No, I take. I, I think you, you have to take them seriously now. You I, I, you have to take them seriously. at the moment. Logically, right? logically, at, logically, at the moment, you have to take them after the World Cup. Now because. I don't think yeah they, after the World Cup they they actually said that after the game was it was chatting with um, I think it was Paul Merson, uh, John Barnes and some other guy on the touchline after after the game on Saturday they asked him title challengers he said look at what City have done in the last five years and look at what we've done in the last five years we can't be talking about the title. Mm. And that tells me that... It might be playing mind games, yeah? No. No, no, that's the right thing to say. <clears throat> that's the right thing to say now, but it might be playing mind games. So, that's a manager who clearly knows. You can't be talking title. You can't. 29 matches to play. You, you can't. Now, but you, you, but you, what, you can't. What, what he's doing is that he wants to instill the mindset that we can win every game. Every game. We have and to go... Because what Arsenal have done this season, and which is what people are not looking at, Arsenal start games better than everybody. Yeah, mm. fact. They start games better than everybody. Yes. Every game I've seen them play, they lost at United, but they started the game better than. That is United. how Liverpool. That's how Liverpool started games for the last four years. So that's what he does. So the intensity starts, and which is why it takes me back to the point you made about Jesus. Jesus is a is a he's, conductor. He's in the team. The way the guy, ah. So so the way he's playing has allowed many players in the team to understand that. Everybody that level, that, that level is possible. So he loses the ball. He doesn't lose the ball. I see Jesus stand, look like he's tired, and then somebody runs past, and they are countering Arsenal, mm -hmm. and he's galloping back. Mm -hmm. Now that has helped the team. Can they do it without him on the pitch? It's a serious question. It is. I it's a serious question. That's what I mean by no, when yeah. they get it, it, there, it, we'll it, know. It, it, it is a serious question. Mm -hmm. But what I like to do, and I, you know, many times I'm speaking to Wale and. You know, well, they say, ah, you know, if we, we know if we do this, I'm like, let's face the problem we have now, <laughs> right? At the moment, you have to live by the day of your arsenal. Yeah, of course. Of course. 100%. Right? You have to live by the day. Because if you're a manager and they ask you, title challenge, you would be crazy to accept that weight. At this because stage of the season. They, are passing, mm. they are passing weight on you, right? Mm. And in football, and just not in football, in life, sometimes you say, oh, I want to be, I want to have done this by the end of the year. When you think about it like that, if it's, if it's, if it's a goal that's worth anything, it is going to be a monumental goal. Mm. I want to have done, I want to have bought a car by the end of the year. <laughs> you you see, yeah, big yeah, breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's, if it's, if, made two weeks. if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, 
your bowels stone. Your bowels stone. They wait for junction for that pastor. We talk about. <laughs> so, okay, if so. it's a goal that is worth anything, yeah, it will have some weight, right? And if you carry that goal around the goal itself, the, the actuality of the goal, mm. if you carry it around, you might not achieve it. Yeah. Mm. What you need to do is break it into smaller, smaller achievable achieve. goals. Yeah. So how yeah. are you going to buy a car? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to save some what money. Do, what what, what do understand? we do in the next three matches? You know, if you're setting out, if you're setting out realistic points, we can get. We, we can get. This, you know, these three games. And before you know it, as life happens, it's like it's like it's, it's, it's like it's like oh, I want to do a degree. I want to do it. I want to do an MBA. And you're like shit. MBA is a two year man. Or more person who can't do class two years. Mm. But you're living every day. Mm. And you're surviving. Mm. At the end of six months, you would have been six months to that MBA. So if you think about the two years, you're like, nah, man, I know if you read for two years. But you'd have been reading for every single day or every other day and you'll be in the NBA. So I, I think it is the right way to go. And until that time when Arsenal has that injury, then we see just how much the team wants it. Because I don't you, think you, any I, I like to see what they, I, I like to see what they do in January. You mentioned, yeah, you mentioned now, after the World I, Cup. I, I, That's I, said, I can't remember, but I And said, just in hindsight, yeah. this World Cup was a... Putting the World Cup here was a disaster. <laughs> no, I'm I, said, I, 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 said, I said it last year. Arsenal missed out of the champion the last season because of the injury to no, TNA and Thomas Partey. Crystal Palace, Brighton, Saturday. Now, that's why we didn't Those play days. the champion the last season. So we say you need Arsenal? No, so I, I want to see what Arsenal do in January. <laughs> I want to see what they do in January because surely, surely, Inju Inju Arsenal have got to go game. to Leicester and get Yuri Tillemans. Mm. Surely. I, I'm looking at you, Douglas Lewis. Whoever you get, but they, they tried getting Douglas Lewis and Stop Villa moved mad. If you get Douglas Lewis or Yuri Tillemans, you are short of that midfield. So you know that you've got Douglas Lewis, who is almost as good as Pate. You almost, I didn't say as good as. You've got Yuri Tillemans, who on the ball is one of the better players in the midfield position. Or was who led. Um, I think, yeah, I think, I think Tillemans never, is the, a perfect yeah. mirror of Pate. Yeah. yeah. So if you get one of them and then you get say another striker or another winger mm -hmm. Omo, i don't think telemans is a mirror of party i, I think, think maybe a mirror of maybe, a, maybe, or maybe an upgrade no a, a mirror of Shaka. what party does in that no, no, no. party is a madman no 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 i'm not talking about on the ball now yeah, on the ball party is a madman no, yeah. let's, let's, yeah. let's break the, down exactly. let's no, break no, down of, 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 no. of the ball party is better than telemans let's, let's the ball. break down way better let's break down what party does for arsenal yeah right is a Pate is a very good he's, passer. His ball winning is not the reason he's in the team. No, no, he's not. He's so, not. so already what he, what he does is he understands spaces. Pate understands spaces. Mm -hmm. He understands that I may not win the ball, but if I'm here, that guy won't pass the ball to I this guy. Intercept. So I can mm -hmm. be here. Mm -hmm. I can be here. I can allow my team. I can buy time for my team. Screening. I, I can mm -hmm. allow my team. I can allow my midfield, other midfield or attackers to close in because I'm blocking spaces. Mm -hmm. He doesn't win so much ball, but his understanding of space is great. And when I start in possession, which I think is what he does for the team more, when I start in possession and you give Pate the ball, Pate is a guy who understands that I can become in possession. I can wriggle my even self tight, out of even a tight, tight space and I can pass the ball forward. Which is the point, which is the point mm. I was going to make, right? Party's number one importance to the team at the moment is conducting the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. In and out of possession. Yeah. Stay five meters close to me. We're in a tight position now. We need to be more compact. We need to be more expansive now. You need to hog the touchline now. So, in essence, a coach on the pitch. Yeah. Right? I think understands the game more than everybody in the Arsenal team. Mm. In the Arsenal need... midfield. Yeah. In no. Arsenal midfield. midfield. In the Arsenal team. In the Arsenal midfield. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a sec. I, 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 think, I think it's midfield. I think it's midfield. <laughs> hold on a sec. You don't who, point and say nobody. I mean, who in the, who you, in you've the... done a lot of hold on a sec without talking. Who, Just who, who in like the, this. Who in the team... <laughs> 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 Reads the game, understands the game better than that. No, I think first of all, it's a read, when you say read the game, I think Saliba reads when you say the read game the really game, well. When you say read but the no, game, not, not up to party. When you say read the game, no, I, don't, I don't think up to party. When not you say read the game, it's a bit unfair in the sense that you are in a position. The position that you play requires you to, to read, read the more. game. Mm. But if you say understand the game, mm. Saka is a player that understands the game yeah, more than party. I, no, no, you, no, you said more than no, everybody, everybody in the team. I'm not I, saying no, more. I, I'm not shy away from what I said. What I said is you understand you the game more than anybody said. in the team. No, no, no. I'm not saying... Uh, look, 
that's what me I disagree with. That your size is so, more than everybody. So, I'm not saying this other person understands more than him. So if yeah. you, I'm if just you, saying <laughs> no, he doesn't understand the game no, more yeah. than everybody. If you disagree with that, right? Which clearly you are. Yeah. Then what is the disagreement for? No, what I'm saying is that he doesn't. I don't agree with yeah, you saying he understands more understand than everybody. Than everybody. There are people who also their understand understanding the of the game is as good as his own. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. First of all, first I, of all, first of all, by by default and my position. A midfield player, right, must understand the game more often than not, more than lots of people. Especially in this case, read, read, in this, but, but in, no, read the game more. That's why I said, not when you say read the game, I read, said it. How read. do you know who understands the game? It's by showing. Mm-hmm. There's no interview that says, oh, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about understanding the game now, right? You show that you understand the game. Exactly. That's and what I'm by, talking about by, now. by walking, by showing, Pate has shown that there is nobody that's now team. Because people talk about Jesus all the time, Right? But if you take party out of that team, the team suffers. True. The team suffers, right? right? But right now, the Arsenal team now, if you take party out of the team, the team suffers. But not as much as the team suffers if you take Jesus out. You know what? Now. Is, you know what? I'm happy that party should get injured soon. But he was injured, and he, he make, was injured. Make, no, 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 no. But he didn't play. But 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 Pate yeah, didn't play. But Pate didn't play. No, no, no. But the games that Pate didn't play. No, yeah, but Pate didn't play some games that happened already. He didn't play against Fulham. Exactly. Let's make that example. The example you are for. That example I'm not. Exactly. And he didn't play against United. What people? What people? But that's what I said. The team would suffer. May God. Put a way through in the desert for you. <laughs> Wait, May why are you in the desert in the first place? <laughs> why are you in the desert? What do you need for? What do you need find? What do you find? Everyone is there for city. They're for city. Wait, 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 why you don't tell and say may God put a way through for you in the town? I see never tell me say I see never tell me where in the state. I just guess and I disagree. I know where in the state. I know where in the state. You never talk where in the state. So see the point is simple. I think that I think that Pate didn't play. Pate out of the team. Obviously the team would suffer. But I think that Pate didn't play. But Pate out of the team. Obviously the team would suffer. But I think. Not as much as the team would suffer if you take his suit out. Yeah, that's I, what I, I think. Agree. No, right, I agree. And, no, and like but, you also agree, said, but, but those like you also said, be, those guys need to be fit for Arsenal to yes. be able to mount you see, any. For me, I think realistically, in Ateta's head, Ateta wants to get to forty points. They've got twenty-four now. Ateta wants to get to forty points before the break, mm. because if he gets to forty points before the break, he's thinking surely. Surely I'll be in the Champions League next season. That's what he wants. That's that's the target. Before the break. And yeah. the players have yeah. got to start thinking Champions League. Champions League. We need to keep winning matches. Yeah. We need to keep winning matches. No. Because if, if, if they think Champions League, they might not make it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Arsenal's players deserve to be in the Champions League. They should have made Champions League last year. Last year, right? yeah. The moment you aim for Champions League, right, you are all of a sudden competing with Tottenham's level, yeah, you're all of a sudden competing United, and all of a sudden you think if all of we sudden, draw this game, all of a sudden you're thinking we'll make your, if we like, drop points here, we can see we can make it. If back, you're right? looking to win the league, you want to win every game. If you want to win the league, and I, I keep saying it, right, and this is maybe the most the most valid thing in football in the last couple of years that has been said that it is never as bad as it looks, and it's never really as good as it, it seems. Is, yeah. In the former, Arsenal is a clear evidence. Right, it's never as bad as it looks, and in Liverpool's case, it's never as good as it looks, right? And it might be a ah! it might, it might be a bond. conclusion <laughs> too early, but I mean, who would have thought that Liverpool are struggling? I mean, I look at Jurgen Klopp now, and you can tell that he's also thinking. I'm thinking about Liverpool's troubles, and I can tell that he's also thinking about like definitely how is definitely. this happening to us yeah. at the moment? Mm. Bit born one nine, you know, but born one at top of you. At top, at top, on top 40, of you, you, you get so, 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 so what? So what? Are able, <laughs> wrong. What it proves, and it, like, like Rangers yesterday, what it proves is that they are able to find spasms of form, a semblance of what they know how to do, hmm. but the ability to do it on a repeated yeah. basis is what makes Liverpool what they were. I mean. Well, they told me to start yesterday. Out of 102 points, Liverpool won 100, 100. And they don't win the league. In the last two seasons, right? And you don't win the league. What it means is that you are the most consistent <laughs> in this thing. <laughs> you know? So, to do it one game, and he's thinking, 
Okay, we have it now. And next game starts, you're two goals behind. And you're thinking, we're well, actually really in real trouble. But back to Arsenal. I think the fans, obviously, are one of the problems of the team. In the, ten- in the sense that, I keep, I keep saying, people people underestimate the power of the social media now. People say, oh, um, you know, fans don't have bearing on players. But players, we've seen now, after a game, immediately on their phones, uh, I'm trending. Oh, nice. Why am I trending? Oh, you know, Saliba is trending because... You know he he, he 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 didn't make any tackle today. He clean. You know, it was a clean tackle. He, by by know, by, by, by know, the way, I'm I'm really pleased that Saliba is proving me right. You know, I I was really p- pissed with Ateta last season. How you? I have, to, I have to give it to you. That you know, you would send Saliba on loan and keep Rob. But in but, but, but in, 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 in hindsight, but in, in hindsight, respect, I yeah. said Ateta, that loan. I'm sorry because this is because the kid has gone and played regularly. Played regularly, played regularly, compete in the Europa League, play in his French league. It's given him a lot of experience. The, that lad is too calm. Almost lost my leg because of him. You know, it was uh... against Tottenham. <laughs> there, was an, there was a time that he had a ball mm-hmm. and Ramsdale was running towards him inside the box. Son came, they were pressing him. So I thought, kick this ball out. This ball will go to see if he wants to. And I know that if he had passed the ball, probably Ramsdale will run past the ball and the ball will go inside the net. Just chop the ball back. Pass, moved in, in between three Tottenham players. Pass the ball like nothing happened. You know my advice? Yeah. My advice? Don't do it again. Don't, don't, do, it. don't do it again. Don't, don't do it again. Don't, don't, do, it don't do it again. Don't, don't get used to it. The things that, people, the, will, people will time you. The things I've seen, they see, will t- and you just need a couple you mistakes. See this Premier League. The things I've seen <laughs> Van Dijk do. You know, you know when people say the Premier League is the... It's the, the best league in the world. I think is I think is I think is nonsense talk. <laughs> However, the Premier League, um, the atmosphere. I think it's the best league in the no. world. I don't think it's the best league in the world, right? Because the parameters are relative. Is, okay, right. best in what relative. sense? But what what? Because I, I, I think for example, the level of competition. Best. No, you, you can't you can't touch you can't touch competition, right? Yeah. What I think makes it special is the ability to unseat. A reigning champion, yeah, or, and not, yeah. not 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 champions now. The ability mm. to unseat stability. All of a sudden, we're in a comfortable place. Yeah, leading the game three 0 All of a sudden, the game is three three. Mm. What the hell is happening here? What well, you know? You think so, shit is Mads, a game? Mads, yeah. Mads, Mads City <laughs> play. <laughs> Mads, think I'm alive, are you? Think I'm playing? That's what we want to do. Man so, City play Crystal Palace. You know, I was so angry the other yeah. day. Man City were beating United. I was telling someone. Why is it that Man City play against that the one thing that would disappoint Ten Hag would be the level of simplicity City had against United? Mm. Because Crystal Palace come to this stadium. Crystal Palace come to this stadium and Man City don't feel that level of comfort against them. Mm. They go to Sell Horse Park, it's the same thing. They play against Newcastle. Newcastle score three against Man City. You know, Man City struggle and get they get red card, they don't feel score Copenhagen. You know, so why would you allow a team play you like this, like you are some schoolboy. So that's the credit you give to the Premier League, that anybody can actually beat anybody. No, no, it's, I think if it, doing that makes it too simplistic. It is the amount of micro-analysis on players and how much opposition players are able to retain going to a game mm. and execute in real time. Mm. So, you know, you watch football players and you say, oh, this guy is the master doing this thing. The moment... One team shows how to stop to to, un- stop, to, to stop that thing. Yeah. The amount of de- attention that other they teams don't, they can get. Van Dyke yeah. now. The thing I saw Van Dyke do yeah. in the last three years, yeah. eh, I thought for a sec. I, I mean, you know, when people bombard you constantly with with lies, <laughs> like you know, Van Dyke is the greatest defender of this. At the point I was thinking, I pitched myself like. I was was I alive in two thousand and five? Was I alive in two thousand and twelve? You know, Bro. so so. The thing that Van Dyke do. Me, I don't even come with a new agenda. All this noise you are making about Van Dyke, I'm not. The guy is. You know, I've always said it. He is fantastic. Rolls Royce. Yeah, he consigns you. <laughs> <laughs> but the issue is that this Rolls Royce, he no no, but they don't change they don't the engine. Like no. <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't change the engine. Rolls Royce. Because Rolls Royce. Like Snows, 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 Snows is telling me say. You get one baby by a uh, range Vogue. Uh. The engine are fought, they there. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't know. You don't say now. We we the way the media are not also and, and, and it's not to discredit Van Dyke. Mm. I think the guy is a fantastic defender. But also what has happened, and it was a thing that I said at the time, say, yeah, he's one of these, he's on the same level as this. 
how consistently has this guy done, done it? it yeah. Remember, in the Premier League, we had great defenders. Some of them never made it to some of these biggest teams to win a lot of Premier League titles. Mm. You had some really crazy, very good... Look, what talking about Van Dijk being in the same distance as John Terry, as Rufe Ferdinand. It doesn't make sense to me. When Koloture was Koloture, that invisible Arsenal team, this Van Dijk Colo. that I'm looking at cannot tie Koloture's boots. Colo. I'm sorry. Colo. Honest, on, honestly, honestly, that is a fact. I don't, I don't know what we're going on about. So Colo was a so beast. What are you talking about? So Colo was a we beast. had defenders that some of these guys, which Ledley King, when he was fit. Yeah, Ledley King was when brilliant. he was fit. What Ledley are we King talking about? Brilliant. So which is why I no, want to uh, uh, we, 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 leave Van Dijk no. alone. Van Dijk we, 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 we've leave done. You know, Van, Van, Van Dijk is a good centre back. Van Dijk is I think that's where it ends. And that's where it ends. That's where it ends. I won't stand that. My brother, my brother. I won't stand that. We plan to pass you. We plan to pass you. No. You are playing very fast. You don't go feel weak. You don't go feel weak. Forget that one. You all take that one, whole body. Pull up. You get. You know. Let me talk this plenty fast. You know. Don't carry on. All right, guys. I'm a man that needs no introduction on this show. It remains the Inside Podcast. Um, you know, when it comes to talking sport, when it comes to talking football, all around the world, you get the best information from this particular podcast. You can always join us online. Um, on YouTube, on IG, anywhere online, you can always join. Even on Clubhouse, we're there for you to dish you the best information when it comes to sports all around the world. Stay tuned, always. Cloud. Cloud. Reach out.